wanted to look at exactly how much it would cost to repair all of the nation's bridges. And Nick is going to break this down for us at the Smart Board. Big bucks. This is something that every city and state is not unique to a particular region. It's not unique to a particular area. As of 2020, the Department of Transportation says it would take more than $39 billion to repair every structurally unsound bridge in the United States. There are 45,023 bridges in need of urgent repairs because of poor structural components or issues with waterways. And according to the Department of Transportation, there's not a single state or territory of the United States without bridges in need of urgent repair. And these are the areas that we want to focus on. The deck, the girder, and the structure. Why is that? Because this is the deck that you drive across. The girder is what actually supports that undercarriage. And the structure here is what goes into the water. And that's what's often eaten away with erosion. And those are the areas that need the repair. But why does it cost so much? Because on a standard non-suspension bridge, a few, it's one of those areas that the constant traffic wears on it. The steel girders also get that decay and the water. So these are the places that cost that much money. Adrian, one of the things that we talked about too when we saw this, is that we're reminded of the collapses that we see in other areas. Uh, you'll remember a few years ago in Minneapolis when that bridge collapsed. It's one of those things that people are aware that as they drive out on their morning commute, they're worried about if whether or not the bridge that they're traveling on is safe. So everyone needs to be inspected. Well, the one in Pittsburgh was a 100-year-old bridge. Uh, it, so there are some very, very timely uh, improvements that could be made right now after a century. Absolutely. Thank, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.